want to make you the owner of everything you see. Everything that belongs to me. I want to make you the owner. Just make a decision. And you have it all. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. What, what decision? Marry me. Huh? You heard me. Marry me and I'll better your life. So sorry, Ma, but that that will not be possible. Oh, I know. I understand. Because of my size. I believe you guys down here don't do big ladies. But here I am. I have the money. I have all it takes to better your life. So why don't you come into my world and I'll give you everything. Ma, it's, it's true that you have the money, which is what I'm looking for. But uh, the, the fact is, uh, I'm, I'm in this city hustling because of the woman I love. I have someone in my life and she's pregnant with my child. Just that the father insisted that I will not marry her because I don't have money. So I am actually in this city hustling to you know, raise money to rent an apartment for them and I'll go back home and, and, and bring my family over. Uh, it's alright. You're such a man of honor. I wish someone can do the same for me. I wish to be loved. See, see you doing this for a girl, for some girl you love. I wish I could find a man to do the same for me. Don't worry, ma. Your own will come. Your own must come, I believe. With God, all things are possible. Then try to make it possible. Are you scared of my size? It's you I want. No, ma. It's, it's not me. Your own will come. God will send your own for you. This is not me. Do? Are you done? No, just want to remain. Okay. Last two. When you're when you're done, you go to my room, open the drawer, take money from the drawer, and go to the pharmacy. Get me sanitary pad. Sanitary what? You heard me. Sanitary pad. Um, sorry, Ma. I, I don't mean to disrespect. Uh, but you see, where I come from, a man like me, is a taboo going to buy such thing, uh, let alone seeing it. Uh, I don't know, just, just saying. Oh, beautiful. My dear. Go in there, pack your things, and go back to where you're coming from. Do, do you get me? No, no, it hasn't gotten to that. Get me sanitary pad. Or you pack your things and go back to wherever you're coming from. No, I'll, I'll go and buy the sanitary pad. More like Sorry. it. Sanitary pad, the big one. Big one, very large. Whatever. It's obvious. Stop it. Um, hello. This is Sexy Biggie on the line. It's a lie. Uh, uh, hello? Are you for real? Uh, how did you get my Nigerian number? Yes! You broke my heart and I had to leave the States for you. I needed space. I needed peace of mind. 
Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, fine. I understand. See, baby, you, you, you sure don't know how to make me fall in love again. I wish, I wish you just around me so that I could give you a very warm hug and a deep kiss. Yes, baby, I've missed you. I miss you so much. Yeah, yeah, I had to. I cried, I wailed, but no one to console me. So what would you have me do? Yeah, that's it. Okay. I love you too. And I, I still why sure I love you. Stop it. Um okay fine. Later, um, I'll call you on video call so I can show you everything. I'm always sex, I'm still sexy. <laughs> alright, 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 baby. Okay. I'll I'll call you, I'll call you on video call. Alright. Sure. Alright, bye. Love you more. More like it. Hmm. You're back. And I'm good. <sighs> Sorry, my you sent for me. Yes. Um, I will be returning back to the States to reunite with my ex. Actually, the breakup was the reason I came back to this country. Hi. Uh, sorry, Mal. But you see, the, the reason I started working, like I told you, is to raise money. And I haven't even worked for, for like a year. I just worked for three months. And if you leave now, that means I won't be able to raise the money I'm looking for. Relax. Don't worry. You're such a very lucky dude. You see everything I own. The cars. You see this house? I will leave it for you. And I have some dollars in my drawer. So change it and use it for whatsoever business of your choice. And whatever you need, deem it fit to call me. <laughs> you're, you're joking, right? Um, you see, Chinedu, actually, your presence brought so much fortune to my life. Especially the call I got from my ex. Here I am today. We are together again. So I feel the only way I can reciprocate this good fortune to you is to give you all of this to change your status. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now you tell me, after all these things, washing a woman's under, so many unspeakable things I did to make sure I make that money for you and my son. And your father wants to stand on my way? That would never happen. Over my dead body. Honey, listen. I understand how you feel. Trust me, I do. But you have to calm down. Because I know my father. He has always been a very stubborn man. Very stubborn. All I want you to do is follow this thing peacefully. You do not have to fight with him. Follow it up like a gentleman that you are. Please. Peacefully, you say. What have I not done? How haven't I followed your father? I've been very peaceful with your father, but he doesn't want to listen to me. You know what? 
I have decided to take it the other way around. Please. However he wants it, I will give it to him. Please. You don't have to take this thing up like this. You, I am begging you. I am begging you. I'm on my knees. Please. What actually are you begging me for? To leave in Cassio before him? No. Then what are you saying? No and no. I never said you should leave Nkasi for him. What I'm trying to say is that you have to be patient with him. I mean, I don't want it to be heard outside there that my husband and my father are having issues. That is the well, only thing... Everyone knows about it. That is the only thing I'm running away from. Chinedu, as it stands now, this man in question is your father-in-law. You are now family with him, and as such, under this situation, wisdom is what we need to apply. Wisdom? Yes, wisdom. Now, what kind of wisdom do you want me to apply? Am, am I King Solomon? I've applied all the wisdom necessary, but this man keeps making me look like a fool. No, Papa, why I'm telling you this is my next line of action, the headline got the bloody. That's if you hear it, eh? You even wonder if it's your son that did this kind of thing. You need to calm down. There won't be any need for war. It will not do you any good. Neither me, myself, nor the man you're talking, ab talking about. So, so what do you want me to do now? To leave with Cassie before me? So what are you saying, Papa? What are you saying? There are ways we can resolve issues like this without, without pointing fingers at each other. What other ways? Calm down first. No, no, tell me, because okay. as it stands now, I'm running out of patience. Calm down, Sinead. That's why I want your spirit to calm down first. Then we can talk about how to go about this. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll beat you one more time. Uh, people say the size of any small snake seen by one person is usually over exaggerated to be the size of a very huge uh, 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 python. Greater than the cricket has invaded the cricket hole. You can tell about the We are here with the report. We are here to lodge a complaint to you and also to seek your, uh, uh, your, your, your counsel. I'm Chief. I'm a My king. That is why I am placed here. Whatever it is, go ahead. Tell me. There's no how the solution will be far fetched from this ancient tour. Thank you, my king. My son here, Chinedu. I had a girl he intended to marry. And I thought he, he spent all his life earnings on this girl, believing that sooner than later they will come together as husband and wife. One thing got into the other, this girl got pregnant. And he told me, Papa, this girl is pregnant too. As a man who knows what is right and what is wrong in this community, I took him to the girl's father, at least to do the needful and take this girl as his wife. The father chased us out of his house. The drink we came with, he threw the drink at us. I don't know where this has ever happened in this community. That's why we're here. Wait a minute. Before you proceed, this girl in question, was she in love with your son? What was her stand? <laughs> she was very, very ready to marry me. As a matter of fact, we are in love. She was so ready to be my son, but the father refused. Yes, my king. 
In fact, that girl was ready to follow us home. Go ahead with your story. Thank you, my king. My son left this village and went to the city. Following abuses that were coming from various places, including from the girl's father. He went to the city and the girls smiled on him. He made money. Having made money, he came home and said, Nam, I have made money. I now want to go to Shinonye's father's place and marry her properly. Pakingo, we got prepared, went to the man's place. The man accepted us. And by this time, the girl in question has put to bed a baby boy. Gave his daughter's hand the marriage to my son, but said the child in question is not my son's child, but his. Igwe, that is why we're here. At least to know where this has happened exactly. in this community. This is a complex case. The wisdom of the ancient is required in handling this. Chief, everybody goes there. My king. I have, I have heard what you and your son said. Thank you, my king. I will summon the one in wisdom. I hear his own side of the story. It's okay. It's okay. Then I will give my judgment. It's okay. What is the name of this man? Is he from this village? Yes, he is from this village. The one you know very well. The retired police officer. I see. I will do as I said. Thank you, I will summon him. Thank you, my king. No. I don't want this whole issue to become a problem in this family. Eh? Who may not call the check in the army? Eh? Chinedu is your son. How can you be dragging his son with him? You are talking to me, but precise. Let me know the angle you are coming from. I want to angle or something, I've been brought that. When you get to the palace tomorrow, tell them that you have decided to let Nkasiobi go. You have decided to give him back to, to, to Papia Bochinedu. Huh? If Nkasiobi is Chinedu's son, automatically you have become his grandfather. There's no point dragging him with with Chine, you know? Eh? Adam, are you done talking? Yes. I've heard you. Nay. Nay, I know you heard me. But are you going to do what I asked you to do? And I said I will not. Why are you always proving to be stubborn? Eh? Why? Okay, there's no problem. When you get to the palace tomorrow, wash your dirty linen outside. Kebuli baliba. Let your news be everywhere. Eh? What is this? After we have been living without a son before Nonye took in. Where are you going? Where are you going to? Are you done talking? No, 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 no. Come back and sit down here and be talking. Cho 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 cho. Ibe, Chief, Akaya. Ibe, your son-in-law brought a complaint about your refusal of handing over. His biological son to him. I want to hear your voice of this story. Thank you very much, Ibe, for giving me the opportunity of fair here. But I have one question to ask. Go on. Thank you. Ibe. When the girl whose bright price has not been paid 
put to bed at home in her father's compound. According to our customs, who is the rightful owner of the child? Is it the father of the girl or the man who got her pregnant? Good. The answer to your question is the father. If we go ahead, the ball is already on the court. Are you aware? In such case of such pregnancy, the man in question tried all his possible best to pay the bride price of the year before she went to bed. When he does that, the child becomes his when she she delivered. Are you aware? Uh, if we are not aware, I am not a visitor to our tradition. Okay, you can't do it, you see. Chimidu, you have to be blamed for bringing someone's daughter without first of all paying her bride price. Chibaka Jaka, you have to be blamed for not allowing Chimidu to pay the bride price of your daughter immediately. You discovered that your daughter was pregnant for him oh. and was willing to marry him. <laughs> or Job completely refused. Well, having heard from both of you, I suggest you go home, calm your nerves, come back in a week's time for my final judgment. In <laughs> You took away everything I walked for Papa I can't Hello Gleason Please tell the laundry woman to bring my dress You have to be very fast about it Hold please Okay Baby You're welcome. Thank you. How did it go? Mm, well, not bad. The Igwe blamed me, you know, for getting you pregnant without doing the necessary things. But the greater part of the blame was to your father because I never absconded from doing the necessary things when you were pregnant. I was ready to pay your bride price but he refused. So, yeah, he blamed me and also your father. That's it. Okay, it's fine. I believe that Igwe will definitely make him release our son for us. Of course, he has no option. Because I will never take no for an answer. It's not possible. Just that my father can be really stubborn at times. Well, his stubbornness won't pay him this time. He will have to do what is meant to be done. I know. Final. It's fine. Um, uh, what do I get for you? Something, I'm hungry. I know you were. Come with me. Nayo. The way things are going, it's obvious the Igwe might tell you to let Nkasi go. Then he will be prepared because I will disobey him. You dare disobey the king of this community? Of course. If he does not respect the customs and traditions of our land, I will disobey him. Nice. If the Igwe says you should let him pass go, let him go. There's no point being, being stubborn about it. It is not as if the boy is even going to total strangers. Eh? I know. But all I want is for Nkasi to answer my name, that's all. When the rightful owners of the boys said no, can you hear me? Can you see what I can have so you can have a It depends on who decides the rightful owner. But as far as I'm concerned, I am the rightful owner. Yes. Tradition was fashioned to save life, not to kill. To ease pains 
and suffering. Not to create pains. To enhance man to man peaceful coexistence. Not to create war and enmity. Therefore, nobody should be seen using tradition as a excuse to carry out with their place and man pick money to do man. Having said this, Chief Akajak, I urge you to allow the father of that boy to take his son home. Oh. And let this family crisis stop. Chinedu is the rightful owner of the child. He never neglected his duty as a father. Right from the first day of the pregnancy. I therefore do not see reason. Everybody should stop him from taking his child. Me. I have spoken. <laughs> you will. So that's all you have to say. That's all you have to say. Okay, we go. I guess. Morgan. Morgan, I am Morgan. We go. Okay, see now. He will. What? What was my business with that? I'm going to his house straight away to pick up my son. Uh, no, 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 you need to come down. Things are not done that way. We have to go home first, then you go with your wife and then... Uh, why? No, why procrastinating? The Igwe has given his judgment, so why are you telling me to wait? I am telling you to wait because it, is, it won't be pleasant to the ear if people hear this. Even to your father is right. Don't go now. I am begging you. Be cool, no. There is no need begging me. You see, as long as I am alive, that boy in Kasi must bear my name. Period. Hey, but the Igwe said that you that the Igwe can go to hell. The worst he can do is to excommunicate me from my people. Yes. It does not change anything, so long as it, 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 it does not take, take it Kasi away from me. Yeah, yeah. Nani, we came back after your retirement. If you do this one now, we will start living like outcasts. Where do we run to? Pikonu. Okay, we can actually adopt a baby boy if that is the case. Okay. It appears you. <laughs> you don't even know the man you married to. Once I've said something, it stands. No going back. Hey. No, no. Mrs. Hey, Mama. It's obvious your husband <laughs> is taking good care of you. Mama, good afternoon. And you're looking so good. Thank you. Okay, this is what my husband bought for you and Papa. Hey, my boy, I don't get my own. God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you. Papa Juan. Ah, he went to see his friend at home when I got down. Ah, ah. Oh. That far place. But he left a long time ago. I'm sure he's on his way back. Okay. Uh, let's go inside. Okay, Mama. I see if I knew I prepared food. My friend, now that the ego has stepped into this matter, I suggest you hands off. Please. But you know that even before I relocated to this village, it has been my wish that my daughter stay back in the house to give me what my wife could not give me. You are talking as if your wife is the cause of your childlessness. While you and I know that you are destined to be childless. Shh. 
or still shout it. But you are making me to shout to Please, I beg you, leave that innocent woman alone. She is not the cause of your childlessness. But then I told you that since I was unable to convince my daughter to stay back, that I, I will make sure that I reject all her shooters. Instead, I will get somebody who will sneak into the house to get her pregnant. Yes, I know. That was the original plan. Luckily for me, that boy got her pregnant. My excuse was that the boy, a poor village boy, would not be able to marry her. I didn't know that that would even push him to go to the city to make money. Now he is back <laughs> and has married my daughter. I have no other excuses again to give. But I said, okay. Well, since my daughter has already given me a son, they could go ahead with the marriage. But for him to come back to demand for my son, no, I will not allow somebody to come and spoil my fun. It is not possible. But now the ego has stepped into this matter. What are you going to do about it? It makes no difference. It's either he marries my daughter and leave the boy for me, or take the boy and then I leave my daughter to stay at home so that he, somebody will come and be uh, making, giving her pregnancy. Akajiako, please, as my good friend, think properly. Make sure you are doing the right thing. Akrika, since I could go to any land to have a daughter. When I am already destined by the gods that I will be childless, I can go any length to have a son. That shows you how desperate I am. Uh, my in law, please, we can't continue with you. Eh? We are going on a very far distance. Please, when your husband comes back, you can just let him know. There's nothing there. Yeah. Eh? Please, uh, we want to take him. Uh, go and go and dress him up. Let's go. Um, let me go and pack his things. Oh, oh you know what? Let just, just forget about the rags. We can shop another one for him. Hmm? Uh, okay, fine. Better. Um, in law, when you call him, check in here. I cannot give Nkasi to you in his absence. Just exercise a little patience more, because. Uh, why now? No, the Igwe has already settled this whole thing. Didn't he tell you? I am aware of that. So, what am I waiting for? I know, but if I give Nkasiobi to you, when my husband is not here, it will look very disrespectful. Ha, Mama, don't Check say this now. thing now. There is no time. I need to start going. Time out. Obelen Didi. If you took away my joy, you took away my happiness, you took away. Obelin Didi. Obelin. Uh -huh. yeah. Just a little. Uh -huh. oh. So, this is it. You've been monitoring me to know when I will go out so that you will sneak in to steal in for me. My lord, what, what's the meaning of this now? Digwe has settled this whole thing. So, what are you saying? To hell with you and that we are Igwe. Nobody can take away in from me. Meaning? What do you mean to hell with? Didn't the Igwe instruct you to give me back my son? Why are you trying to tell me you're disobeying the Igwe? The Igwe has settled this whole thing. The Igwe even instructed that I'll take my son. No, 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 no. Nobody can take him away from me. I said nobody. If you're a retired policeman, I will tell you that I'm a retired madman. I must take my son today. No, listen, listen. 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 You are in my house, and if you don't comport yourself very well now, I will teach you a lesson. I will kill you here. You will kill me. You will kill me. 
Kill me today. Sir, you may be okay. I must take my son today. Okay. Kill me. Okay. 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 Kill me. I'm waiting for you. Yeah, my man. It's not possible. It's not possible. No, 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 Please, no, 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 Please, no, 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 if you are retired police officer, I will tell you I'm a retired bad man. Oh, now I can't. 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 Oh, Your father deceived me. I should have known better. I could remember when I came to pay your bride price. They told me to wait that everything concerning paying your diary should be after you're done breastfeeding our baby. I foolishly believed him. I came back again the next year to pick my son. He told me, uh, my in-law, as you can see, that the boy is still tender, that I should come back when he's much stronger. I stupidly believed him. Now, the third time when I came, uh, I met my mother that day. Even Mama told me, he begged me, please, uh, leave the boy. As you can see, we are used to him. We send him errands, we do all of that. We are, we are used, can you leave him? Maybe next year or next two years, you can come back. I looked at them, I said, okay, fine. <laughs> Besides, he's your grandchild. I innocently left. Now, I came to collect my son. Your father had the mind, the audacity to tell me that Unkasiubi is not my son. Initially, I thought he was joking. But you see how dead serious he is. He kept on saying that Nkasiobi is not my son. How can he be so heartless? How can he be so stupid and daft to claim what is not his? How? No, because I listened to him? Is that why? No. Please, baby. Let's, let's just calm down and put everything in the hands of God. I know how you feel, but please, let's take it easy, please. This, this is unbelievable. That's, th this is, this is unspeakable. I know. C can you just imagine? No, I know how you feel. Even, I'm tired, I'm not happy, but this boy is my son. The whole thing is breaking me. I'm sorry. Please. Please. It's not it's not a crying man because I will never give up. I will never. I'm with I will never we will die together. I'm with you. I'm with you. Please. Igwe, you cannot believe it. After your orders, I mean after your judgment, Chief Akajiako disobeys your orders. The king of this community. Is that not looking down on you? So, he did not release the boy. He completely refused. Instead, he fought me out of his house with a cutlass. Um, Chinedu, I suggest you seek 
illegal redress. You are the rightful owner of that boy. Uh -uh. Is that all you can say? A common man faulted your orders. Young man, we are no longer in the old days. When both legal and spiritual powers are vested on the traditional rulers, I am not a member of law enforcement agency of this country. I am only a traditional ruler. The most I can do is to ostracize or excommunicate him. That is, forbidding other villagers from talking, doing business or associating with them. But then, it will not grant your heart desire, your son. That, that, that is true, but you're right. The only thing I need is my son. And um, children too. Allow the Lord to take his full course. Don't worry how I will handle his conduct. Nobody dares to look down on this exalted truth. Nobody! Take with him. Yeah. If uh, it were to be the mother of the child, I mean the wife, that's where the court decides between the both of you who, between both of you, who is the rightful owner of the baby. According to how you played your parental responsibility during and after the pregnancy. He is just an intruder. It's nowhere near the picture. So, what do you suggest I do now? Your wife. Your wife, if you try to understand her standing in this case. It's possible she's standing with her father. Otherwise, what stops her from taking her son from the father? She is the mother of this child here. So, she is the one who is supposed to be fighting for this, not you. She should go and get her son from her father. Right? She's the one that is meant to be going to the village several like I've been doing. Yes. Don't be surprised that on that day in the courtroom, your wife might even stand with the father. There might be an agreement. Maybe she's aware of this. You took away my joy. You took away my happiness. You took away everything I walk for. Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe that this is coming from my father. Oh, I can't believe this. Somebody wake me up. Wake me up. Is this a dream? And I know that this is your plan. Honey, you're back so early. How did it go? Yeah. I'm just coming from the lawyer's office. The lawyer's office? What happened? I mean, I hope no problem. She said you're the reason I'm in this mess. What's that? I 
don't understand. Me? Yes. He said the reason your father could boldly hold back my boy is because you're in support of his idea. God forbid. Awesome. Why would you utter such words? Because God has forbidden it already. What I want to tell you now is I cannot be living under the same roof with you when your father is abducting my biological son for no just cause. He's your father and the boy in question is your son. So go home and get my boy back. Oh, goodness. Listen, I, I really want to get this right. Do you want me to start traveling to the village now? Is that what you want? I do not care. I've said my own and that's final. Go home and get Inkasiobi back. I need to know who you're supporting in this issue. You know my father will not listen to me. And how is that my business? Don't you know how to get what belongs to you back? Get him, whichever way you want to do it, do it. You can involve the police or involve the lawyers. I do not want to know. And listen, don't even think of returning to this house without Inkasiobi. Excuse me. What are you saying? Well, you heard me clearly. Was that what the, the, the lawyer advised you to do? Go and get my boy. Mama, Papa cannot spoil my happiness. He cannot spoil my happiness. What wrong have I done to him? I have kept quiet for a very long time and I will not keep quiet again. I will not leave this house without my son, Kasiobi. I am living here with him, whether he likes it or not. You know, I'm tired of begging your father. I have been begging him to release Kasiobi to you and your husband, Ojo. Uh -uh. I don't know for whatever reason. Hmm. So anyhow you want to go about it, just know that I am solidly behind you. Hmm. Heaven knows. Heaven knows that I'm not leaving this house today without my son. Uh, what is all this now? What is all this? Ogini? Today. I must live here today with him. Um, it's just that um, Kasobi is not in this house. So. Mama, what do you mean by that? Where did he go to? I don't know where your father took him to. I woke up one morning and he was not here. That's not true. Nkasiobi! 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 I, I don't know. I have told you that he's not around. Eh? You think I'm joking? I'm going to just check here, give you. Mama, huh? Cassio is really not in this house. But I told you. Where has he taken my son to? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. But I told you, you probably you thought I was joking. Where did he take my son to? I don't know. Like I said, I woke up one morning. He was not here. I... He took him out by night. But Mama, why? Why is Papa this mean and wicked to me? Why? What wrong have I done to him? Why does he want to destroy me? Why does he want to destroy my marriage? Huh, Mama, if Papa comes back to this house, I am going to give it to him however he wants it. Omaka. Uh-uh. Omaka. Hmm. I don't know why he is so selfish. Eh? Oh, no, so. A child that does not belong to him. Omunya. Eh? Anyway, I'm waiting for him. Okay, Mama. Let him go and come back. Come on. Uh -uh. My own son. I am still your father. Eh? I brought you here so that you stay with this uncle. Until the day I'll come and pick you up. Huh? But don't you go and stay with you and mama. No. It is not safe. You know, Uncle Chinedu is a very wicked man. He is planning with his wife to kidnap you. That's why I brought you here. But Uncle Chine do and Auntie Nye love me a lot. They don't love you. That one thing you don't understand. These people are evil. They are planning to kidnap you and use you for money ritual. That's why I brought you to my friend. Stay here. Stay here until the day I will come. Oh? Huh? You know go. Mm -hmm. 
on te go, on te go à ce vitu à maman. Don't worry. Maman and I will be coming to see you on a daily basis. You know, go. Don't worry, go to him. You took away my joy. You took away my happiness. You took away everything I walk for. Papa. I can't believe that this is coming from my father. Oh. I can't believe this. Somebody wake me up, wake me up. Is this a dream? Father. This boy cried all through the night before he slept. And I couldn't contain his tears. I think you should take him home with you. Yes. Akaka, you are beginning to surprise me. He is a little boy. It is normal. Very soon he will get used to you. So stop saying things like this. Are you not taking this thing too far? But I told you, there is nothing I would not do to retain him. I told you that. Didn't I? Akajiako, I think we are punishing this innocent boy. It's not good for him. I thought you are my you are with me. Yes. How can you suddenly turn against me? Why this sudden change? Akrika, why? It's okay. It's your son. Yes. Hey, good. Always remind him that I am his free father. That Chinedu and the Nonye, that they are very wicked. That they are planning on how to kidnap him. Use him for money ritual. You see, in a see, in a see, see, with time he will get used to me. It's okay. <clears throat> what are friends for? I will do it for you. Good. I will come tomorrow to see how you people are faring, and at the same time bring some money for his new school, school uh, his school fees, the new school. Where did you take my son to? I could come. What kind of a father are you? Why do I have a beast like you as my father? Please, where did you keep my son? What is all this? Mkashobi is my son. I carried him in my womb for nine months. I gave birth to him. So you don't have any right whatsoever to hold him back. You don't have that right. Mind you, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm taking him to the city, whether you like it or not. Anamano. Okay, let's meet you tomorrow morning. Is this a dream? Had I know that this is your plans? Give me come I am ready to return to my husband's house. Am I stopping you? Where is my son, Nkasiobi? I need to take him to his father. Papa, I repeat again. Where is my son? I need to take him to his father. Nti Upe. Is him Upe? Eh, Upe. Papa is him Upe. No problem. You think I'm joking? By the time I return, you will understand what Upe means. Up Upe. Okay. Oh, shh. I don't get you. Is your father you're talking about here? Yes, it's my father. And the boy in question is my son. If he's your father, that means the boy in question is his grandson. Exactly. Madam, I will advise you go home and say to it. This is a family matter. I don't understand. I should go home and do what? I'm telling you that he abducted my son and you're telling me to go home. What do you want us to do now? I want you to arrest him. As a matter of fact, I want him to be detained until he provides my son. Madam Listing, this is Nigeria and not America. <laughs> we have respect for culture and value. You don't expect us to arrest a man for keeping his grandson. So, what are you trying to say? Listen, I will advise you go. 
you can go to another police station. Period. Officer. Officer. Hi. What kind of what kind of frustration is this? Officer. I can't believe that this is coming from my father. Oh. I can't believe this. Somebody wake me up. Wake me up. Is this a dream? And I know that this is your plans. Give me come and make you a No, Zugono. Hmm? Oh, Zugono. You have cried enough. Stop crying. Mama, how can I stop crying? Are you sure that man is really my father? Who's Zugwebezina? How can he suddenly turn himself to my daylight horror? Just like that. How, Mama? How can my own father intentionally want to ruin my marriage? My joy, my everything, my life. Why? But I thought you went to call police for him. I called the police, but they wouldn't want to come into it. They said it's a family matter oh. and as such should be treated as one. Mama, please, I want my son. I want my son. I need to take him to his father. I don't have peace in my marriage because of this. Please. Talk to Baba, he's your husband. He should give me my son. Please. <laughs> you have cried enough. I want you to know that there's a God in heaven who sees everything and everybody. He is the greatest judge. Mama, my mom is shattered because of this. My mom is shattered. But I is too stubborn. <laughs> What is it? You called me. Yes. My daughter. I want us to discuss as a father and daughter. I'm listening. You know I love you so much. There is no man on earth who will have a child and will not love that child. I haven't seen any. You love me. So why are you doing this to me? What wrong have I done to you? What? Good. I have been wanting to tell you this. But I don't know how to say it. But I must start from somewhere. Listening. I have a story to tell you. What's the story? It was my plans to marry three wives who will give me 25 children <laughs> so that my father's lineage will not come to extinction. So when I married your mother, my wife, and she was unable to conceive, I began to ask questions. <laughs> you were destined to die without a child. What kind of destiny is that? Look, I'm the only child. Does it mean our gods want strangers to inherit our lots? I have spoken what I saw. 
they know the reason for this strange predestination. Where's one? See, right now, I want a son. I want sons that can continue our family lineage. Is there no way out? I can guarantee you that you may be able to have any child of your lunes. Just one child. What is infinite sacrifice? Any sacrifice that one goes out of his way to order certain things about his destiny. See, I am ready to go out of my way to make sacrifice. So long as I have child, a son, that's all. I am ready. Now you have to choose between these three. One, but naked, fully naked, inside the market on a broad daylight. Two, to sleep one night on a road where three parts meet. And the three, to sleep with a mad woman for four market days. Any of these three, with killing of a cow in any sacred river of your choice. My kinsmen will not inherit my inheritance. A son from my land's will. Strangers cannot inherit my inheritance. I inherited them from my father, so my children will inherit them from me. I will make the infinite sacrifice. I've made up my mind to sleep naked on a road where three parts meet and also to kill a cow on a sacred river. Good. The gods would have mercy on you and give you a child. But what I cannot guarantee you is the sex. It can be male. It can be female. But what I know is that they will give you a child. Having seen my plight, I hope they will give me a son. Let it be unto you according to your faith. It's a beautiful baby girl. What's the problem, sir? Don't you like a baby girl? No. You won't understand a mangota. So I made up my mind that you will not get married at all. Anybody that will come to marry you, I will find one reason or the other to frustrate the plans. And my intention was to sneak in someone who will come into our house and be getting you pregnant so that you'll be making babies at home. So, 
so when that boy got you pregnant, I knew he wasn't going to marry you. But when you delivered a boy, my joy knew no bound. At last, I was fulfilled. And when the boy came back a rich man, I see no reason in stopping him from marrying you, since you already had a son for me. But when he came back demanding to take the boy, I knew it wasn't going to be easy for me. So he decided he takes you and leave the boy for me. Well, he take the boy and allow you to stay in my house and be getting pregnant and making babies for me. Huh. I honestly cannot believe this. I can't believe this. Papa, how on earth would you want to ruin your only daughter's life just to fulfill your heart desires? You planned for me not to get married? You wanted me to remain here and be giving you children? How horrible can you be? How wicked can you be, father? How? What kind of a father are you? <clears throat> you don't know what I did to have you. Huh? You see, I did what I did so that strangers will not possess our possession. Yes. Why will I make the infinite sacrifice? I see. It's all right. I've heard you. You have not said anything. That is because I have absolutely nothing to say to you. that I am not comfortable that you're still here. Eh? You have to start planning on how to go back to your husband's house. Or have you come home finally? Is that not what Papa wants? He wants everybody to remain in this house, including me. A married woman. I should remain in this house with him. I am here. No, no, no. You have to... Go back to your husband's house, oh? Mama, you know it's not possible. If I do not go back with my son, Nkatsyobi, my husband will still drive me away. And Papa has refused to, to bring my son back from wherever he kept him. I don't know what I've done wrong to Papa. Nothing else. If he doesn't bring him, I'll still remain here. Mama, he is your husband. Talk to him. Tell him to bring my son back. Let me take him back to his father. Please. Mm. Mm. Hey. You can bring him back for wherever he gets him. Nai, please, I would like to talk to you. I'm all yes. I said, talk, I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. 
Nine. If you had listened to me, we wouldn't have been here now. And what have you been telling me? My husband, I have told you that, that we should have done. I have suggested it several times. People do it. It is not something new anymore. Let us adopt a son and allow our daughter live a normal life with her husband. So what is the need in adopting a total stranger who will inherit my inheritance? Tell me, what's the need? Still, if I die, it is a, a stranger that will still inherit my inheritance. What's the difference? My husband, whenever you talk like this, I laugh. See, once you close your eyes in death, you don't even know anything that is going on anywhere. Inheritance Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. Eh? Palm trees. Your farmlands. Plantain plantation. What other thing? Eh? My husband. Like I said, it is not good to fight a fight you cannot account for. Once you close your eyes in death, that's it. You wouldn't know what is going on around you again. Inheritance, you wouldn't know where they are. Why am I even talking with you? But please, if you don't mind, I have important news here I want to read. Uh, you see, Godwino Baseki is hosting these games. And he promised uh, anybody that will win gold in the uh, All African Games. I've not been seeing your wife in church. And the Holy Spirit instructed me to pay you a visit. 
now that you have told me all this, can I give you a godly and crucial counsel? Y yes, Father. You can go ahead. Okay, thank you. You will go and bring back your wife. Oh? Yes. And if her father insists on not handing over the boy to you, never mind. For the Bible says, seek peace with all men. For God is in heaven. And he watches over everything that happens here on earth. He will surely grant you your heart desires. And he will even give you more children. It's never late for you and your wife to bear more children. The Bible also says, for with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Deep down, what you've said uh, lifted my spirit. I will do just as you have instructed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We serve a living God. Our God never fail. And he will never fail. Let me pray for you. I'm so sorry I've not brought our son back home. Trust me, it's not my fault. It's my father's. He has not released my son to me. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. Go on, get ready. I'm taking you home. If it's God's will that and Cassie will be, will be taken away from us. Or if it pleases him that we are not going to have more children, then so be it. I want you back. I love you. I love you more. I love you so much. You're happy now, Okwe. You're celebrating. You have gotten what you have always wanted. To be in enmity with your son-in-law. Igwano, keep celebrating. Ngobanku. Ngobanku. I don't even know what I'm doing here with you. All in the name of marriage. <laughs> There's no problem. You can go back to your father's house, or better still, join your daughter without her miserable baboon husband. Your days in my house is even expiring. I don't need you anymore. Oh, John. Oh, no, John. Keep drinking. Keep celebrating. If I may, maybe. Classmate, they called me a bastard and I told them not to go, but they couldn't stop. No, my son. Don't worry, you are not a bastard. Hmm? Your father shall take you back to that school and you want them not to call you a bastard. Hmm? You have a father, okay? Is my father coming today? Uh, no, not today, but tomorrow. Huh? He will come tomorrow. He will come tomorrow.
Can I locate Mazo Menka Kajaku's compound? Mazo Menka. Oh! So you move straight down, take the first turn by your left. Okay, yes, just okay. straight, then the first turn by your left. Alright, okay. Yeah, you locate his compound there. Well, huh? Thank you. So, bad you're welcome. When, ah, how am I supposed to know? Mishina told me. Hey, are you sure he's not the the boy they said at night gave birth to before getting married? Are you sure? Yeah, it seems also. like he's the one. Hey, I'm broken. What a good one. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. Mama, I am Cassie. Mama, I am Cassie. Mama, I am Cassie. Mama, I am Cassie. Mama, I Now that you are done with your secondary education and you said you are not furthering your studies, I would like you to proceed to the city. Look for a business of your choice, good enough. I retired as a senior police officer, CSP. I have equally received my gratuity and I reserved it for you. I want you to start a business, settle down and marry and start raising children. Eh? Eh? Mm, but Papa, I would like to go to Uncle Chinedo and learn his line of trade. No. I'll start making arrangements myself. Okay, Papa. Nah. Mama, yeah. What do you want to eat? I want to eat salad and zondo. Mama, when you have to eat me, I want to eat salad and zondo. I want to eat salad and zondo. I want to eat salad and zondo. My son, all this for me. No, I don't need to loud it now. Nah. Uh, you deserve more than this accolade. I just say, let me get you this one. Just manage it. You deserve more than this, honestly. <coughs> My son, God will bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. Hey. Uh, you don't need to thank me, honestly. Let me tell you. See, all these things, you don't need to thank me. I should be the one giving you all this accolade, though. Because uh, right from my primary school, you were there for me in secondary, and you never quitted for once. Honestly, what you did for me is what no man can take the, 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 the accolade for. Honestly, you deserve more than this, Nani. You deserve it. Thank you. Just manage this one, I'm telling you. Honestly, manage it. You deserve all it. All this, um, thank you so much. Nani, nah, you're welcome. Hey, you know, some boys of nowadays may not even remember, but you remembered what I did for you. Thank you. Because you trained me well. 
Uh, but, Nani, there is something I want to tell you. It has been bothering me since. Um, See, what could that be? You are the only person I trust in this village. And I believe that you are a man of honor and you won't lie. See, it's no longer a secret to me that Mazia Kajiako and his wife are not my biological parents. I know that. And I know that Auntie Nonye is my real mother. Now, that's not my big problem. My, big pro my biggest problem now is that I want to know the man that got her pregnant. Where, he, where does he live? Doesn't he exist or what? Where is he? Because I don't understand. Or oh, is my mother Virgin Mary that got pregnant without a man? <coughs> my son. Nine. Oh. I don't know how to start. But let me manage to tell you. I listen. I can no longer join your father in this deception anymore. You mean my grandfather, Mazaka Jiako? Yes, your grandfather. She need to. The one marrying your mother. Is your biological father. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you mean Uncle Chinedu? Are you kidding me? No, my son. You see, that's what I can do. I would have let this cat out of the bag, but your grandfather said no. He used our tradition, uh, yes, to take it away from your real father. Wait. Because your mother has already given back to you before uh, uh, your father married her officially. Understand? Do you know? Do you, do you know the pain of being called a bastard? Can you believe this? That my, my 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 father is out there somewhere with my mother, and they are married, and I'm here in this village suffering the stigma of being called a bastard. Everywhere I talk, my age grade they bastardizes my thought all because I was born out of marriage. They call me his mother gave birth to him at home. My son, come here, please, please take it easy. Come down. Come on. You know. No problem. Here we go. Thank you for the timely information. Thank you so much. You never remember me. Okwankas. Okwankas. Can you go now? Get the key, the key. What is it? No, nah. you are already back. How is my friend Akrika? Oh. Who offended him? Okay, you should be asking him, not me. Who is it? Nuna, nah. where are you going with your bag? Papa, you can hand it for me forever. I'm going to my real father. The man from whose lawns I came out. Akaragasa. Uh, my son, you don't seem to understand what you are saying. Papa, I know too much to know that Uncle Chino is my biological father. You made it appear to me as though you are evil just to achieve your selfish desire. But your game is up. But don't worry. This is my maternal home. I'll keep keeping in touch. Akrika. Akrika. You betrayed me. I thought you were my friend. Akrika. Hi. Oh, oh, na ko na go.
Mamo. I, I, I can't sing, Mamo. Mom, wait. How were you able to locate this place? Mom, she. The child comes of age. He asks after his father. Oh, Mom. And I've come of age. Oh. I've come to meet my real father. Oh, Mom. My flesh and blood. Oh. No, my family. Oh. oh. And there's no going back. Oh. Oh, Oh. Oh, Mama. Oh. Nobody knows tomorrow. Onye magwane chini na echeteka. Onu ekolo yuko. I must make money. I got I must make money. I must make money. I must make money. City here I come. 